I'm Alexander Chi, and this is How to Write an Autobiographical Novel. I had a student who asked me a very funny question. He said, I read very quickly through things, and I couldn't do that with this book. How did you do that? <laughs> Magic. You got him to take his time reading. Well, and then we had, a, we had a conversation about style. You can both describe an experience and evoke it at the same time. Mm -hmm. It makes the reading experience more vivid, and so you do slow down. And that is actually, I think, the point of it. Someone asks you, oh, I heard you have a memoir and essays. What's it about? Is there any concise way of saying what this collection is about? I think the, probably the most concise way of describing it would be that they are essays that are about me tracing my life as a reader, student writer, struggling writer, author, and then writing teacher. Maybe that's not so concise. <laughs> that's pretty um. concise, actually. You get a sense as you're reading it, or I got a sense as I was reading it, that I was seeing your identity develop in a lot of different mm, ways, your identity yeah. as a writer and as a person. Because you can read a book so much faster than life actually goes by, you can see those patterns start to form. I do also think of it as a, a, a series of misidentifications that taught me about myself. Times when I, people said, this is you, and I would say, is this me? And, and then figure something else out mm -hmm. in the process. I've heard you mention before that your characters, your fictional characters, talk to you. Tell me a little bit about that. I ask the material questions all the time. I ask the characters questions. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a little bit of a interview process for me, I guess. But also, I like questions. My imagination likes them, too. When I ask them, things start to happen. And then I hear them respond. And that's usually how that begins. Alex, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for joining us for A Word on Words. I'm Mary Laura Philpot. Keep reading. My husband, Dustin, was complaining about all the tote bags around the house. They're everywhere. And so I was joking on Twitter that I was going to make a cape. <laughs> and then they were like, well, actually, now you have to. So I got to wear it for this event. <laughs> for this grand event. And then they put a crown on your head.